Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series for the channel. This is, of course, a return to Farming Simulator for us, and this is the lovely, lovely map that is Spectacle Island. I actually love this map. I'll start off by showing you, I'll just show you on the mini map. I have sold all of the grass fields bar G1. Can't sell that, it's not showing up in the list of fields that I can sell with the Bank of Hogansteed. And I've also sold field one as well, so really all we have is everything on this island. I have glorious, glorious plans for this series. I intend on this series being quite a quite a decent one because I am I'm very much in love with this map and I think it is a brilliant way to get back into farming simulator. I'm running on seasons on I believe six days per season and my primary focus is of course animals but I can't do anything about that just now so I need to focus my attentions on other things. Now we do start with uh, quite a large amount of machinery. We do start with the pickup truck. I, I plan on replacing almost all of the machinery over time. But this map obviously has the added benefit of you can do up the farm. So starting over here, as you can see, we've got a trailer, front loader attachment for a case, a plow, a cultivator, a front weight sitting over there. We've got the big John Deere fast track sitting over there. We have another case over there. We'll, we'll come back to that bit in a second. I'll just show you more of the farm. We have our sheep over here, obviously. We have our pigs in this section here. I do apologize about the creaking, by the way. That is my uh, pedal set. And, of course, the cows over here so all of the animals are in the main part of the farm and then in this section just over here we do have a buildable area which is always nice to have and I think I can show you some of some of you may not know this but that is one of the main roads into the farm it's very very treacherous very 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 interesting I'm going to do this as a semi-realistic series. I don't want to be jumping between vehicles unless I have to. But coming over this way, we have some more fill points and lakes. Uh, slightly dangerous area there. And of course our silos. And head back down the way we came. There's our farmhouse over there. This is a bit we've already seen. Coming down here, we've got a couple of cedars, another case tractor, a f wheel loader which is very unusual to have as basic equipment. I haven't modified any of the equipment that we have so this is all basic equipment, a stump grinder and we have a lawnmower there. Heading down here, I don't think we have anything in this area. Maybe wrong. No, nothing in this area. A little footpath over to the island there. The other island, should I say. And this is quite a hill indeed. This is where the vehicles will reset if we ever need to do that. I'd like to avoid doing that. And we also have the lorry with the trailer there for the logging. Which is a very important piece of equipment for those of you who are not familiar with this map. But logging is something that you have no choice but to do. All these small pine trees in the field by clearing them you will slowly increase the look of the farm. It will get rid of all of the rubble and clean the whole place up a little bit with the exception of the farmhouse. I understand there is not any kind of way that you can clear that up. But coming down into one field here we have obviously the, I think it's a patesi? can't remember what that piece of equipment is called. This is all standard equipment. It's a Scorpion King. Yeah, Ponzi Scorpion King. But this is our field, and as you can see, it is full of trees. Which is not the best. There's another one of our fields there, again, full of trees. If we head down this way, we'll have a look at some of our other fields. I think all of our fields are going to have this same issue with trees in them. I also believe that those are our greenhouses. 
they look like they'd be ours. But if we just head down through this area here, yeah, there's another field of ours. That is again full of trees. This is quite a large field as well. And that's one of those trees I'm on about. So that will be the pickup truck now quite heavily damaged. That didn't look like it was that much of a hill from the other side. This one is also full of trees. I think this is going to be the running theme for them all. I don't know how to get out of this field. Down here somewhere. I think. I have no idea. So, yeah, this is the way out. And of course field 12 there, which is also very full of trees. I think that's all the fields on this map. Well, field, field 16. How do I get to that? We're going to have a look at that. That's the wrong button. I'm just going to have a look at the final field. But there's so much to do on this map. And it's just been made in such a beautiful way. Some of the terrain cliffs are in typical farming simulator fashion, a little bit broken, but this humongous field here is also very full of trees. So all of the fields that we currently own aren't workable. There's nothing we can do about it. They are full of trees. There is two farms on this map. I will go into more detail about them in other episodes. But for now, we'll just head back down to field 11 and start chopping down some trees. Where the lorry is parked, that is the log cell point. But I don't really want to sell logs there, if I'm being completely honest. This pickup truck will be replaced as well. So I'll just have a look here. I'd like to buy the pallet work and and buy pallet, uh, build pallets and sell them instead. If I can find it. I know I have the mod installed, it's just a case of finding it. It's around here somewhere. Got another greenhouse available to us as well now. Plenty of mods installed. <coughs> Uh, wood chip storage. Maybe it's not in that one. There it is. 150,000 it's going to cost. So we can't afford it yet. But that is fine because I do have way, way too much equipment just now, anyway. Now, we need this to cut them into 8 meter lengths. I have no idea how to do that again. And we need it in yeah, 8 meters the longest it can go to. So we'll just start with this tree directly in front of us. What was the button to cut? Uh, it would help if I was even in the right position. There's the first victim of this new farm. It's being built up here. There we go, there's there's one. Can I that does that, that does that, that's what I want. Let the tree fall. Straight through the back wheels there, don't need them anyway.
It's a good start. This is much quicker than doing it in another fashion, of course. But this is a very expensive piece of equipment, so as soon as it's fulfilled its usefulness, I'm afraid it will have to go. But we're already making quite a difference in this field. Uh, I'm only gonna I'm gonna stick to the confines of the field for now. I do want to expand the size of the fields later on, but for now. I'm only interested in what I already have available to me. Yeah, that, that worked out really well for us there. It's been a while since I've used this piece of equipment. It's nice to use it again. And there's what our first oh we'll save off the map. We get this one knocked down too. Head over to this corner. I should actually increase the in game speed quite a bit because I plan on it being one episode per day. It's unusual how it sometimes sends them under the equipment, but nothing I can do about that. This, well, probably is, but there's nothing I'm going to do about that. <coughs> I'm, <coughs> I'm not going to focus entirely on animals. That was interesting. I'm also going to do some crop. This field's probably going to be used for crop, but because I don't have any grass or anything available to me as of this second, I uh, don't really have anything I can do in that sense. I could buy the silo and get the pigs on the go, but I don't want to do that just yet. But I plan on having all three types of animal. Four if you count chickens. So that, that's going to be a challenge in itself, having a full-blown livestock farm. But I think it will be a good kind of challenge. This field is already looking more useful. with this tree coming down. I believe that would be half of this field done just like that. I'll head over this way and work my way back from there. So we'll be collecting all of these logs with the combination of the lorry and the wheel loader. Not quite lined up right there. Well now, that was fun. It's a good thing this machine isn't leased, otherwise I would have lost my deposit.
The money that we have available to us is mainly from the sale of a couple of fields. So I didn't want to start with too much. This map, you know, when you first start this map, it does give you almost all of the fields. There's only, I think, like eight or so fields that you don't own right from the off. And I wanted a bit more of a challenge than that. So I decided to sell the bulk of them, with the exception of the ones that are on this island and that one I can't sell. I should probably have waited for that to fall more, but one of those things. And finally, get this top section finished with the addition of this tree. Already putting a bit of time on this machine. It's not going to be worth much when we go to sell it, that's for sure. But there is not much left to do in this field now. As far as cutting the trees down, of course. That is quite a tall tree in the middle there. We are going to need to upgrade our stump grinder as a matter of urgency as well. There is one I have my eye on. It's the one that can double up as a plow. Can't remember the brand of it, but it's the 3 meter yellow one. I do favour that as a stump grinder. It's another one of those funky dances that this machine does every now and again. Four more trees, and then we can move this machine over to another field. And yeah, another crazy dance. I expect it would have done another one there. I feel like I should probably do something about that, but I won't. It just leaves the one tree, I believe. So that is all the trees out of the centre of the field. So now we just need to move this over into field 14. I won't be cutting the trees down in that field today. I'm just moving the Scorpion King over there. It's unusual to see the Scorpion King with tires instead of tracks. But we'll park this up here. Turn it off. And we'll go and get ourselves back in the pickup truck and head over and get some other equipment. <coughs> now, I am going to make use of the Follow Me mod quite a bit in this map. Which, I think it's kind of necessary to do that, otherwise there would be a lot of walking about. Bags of rubbish everywhere and, and all sorts. This farm definitely needs a bit of a spruce up. I 
I'm just gonna park the truck here and head down f on foot for the uh, lorry. I have played this map quite a bit off camera. I did actually record a good five or six episodes of this map previously and then decided to delete them all and start again. So I, I came up with some ideas but I'd already started working on the map. So it, it felt kind of pointless to do them from that point. So I thought starting again would be the best course of action. Leave the truck there while we get the wheel loader sorted. Not my favourite wheel loader, I have to admit, but a wheel loader is a wheel loader. So we'll get this set up on Follow Me. And we will, of course, drive down there in the truck. Quite a mess, this farm. As for the logs, I don't know if I'm going to sell them as of yet, but I might. I seem to have come into a bit more money than... I had before. Not sure why that is. But what is I'll just bring the truck into the middle of the field and switch it off there. there. See if I can remember how to operate this wheel loader. Uh, not very well by the looks of it. I'll just do these individually. sure that's pointed as far down as it can. Got the first logs here. And of course it's not going overly well. As long as I get them in the trailer, I'm happy. Which, it doesn't look like I'm going to get them both in the trailer. Let's drop that one there. See if I can just get this one in the trailer. I'd see that as a minor victory. It was an interesting issue I have. Managed to get it in the trailer, no problem. Just getting back out of the trailer that was the problem. Try and pick up a few more than I did last time. That looks a bit better. That's all gone a bit weird. Okay. 
Oh, they're in. That went very weird, but they're in. Which is fair enough. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save myself a bit of time here. Go to loan details. Right, edit loan. And I'm going to borrow... 100,000. Which may seem crazy doing it that way, rather than through the standard way. I don't have enough money. Of course I don't. Which is odd. Because I had 80,000 and I just took out 100,000. How did that happen? Let's take out another 50,000. I can't. Let's do it the old-fashioned way then. <coughs> we'll do it through the finance settings. I can't do that either. That's unusual. Okay. Well, like I said, I do have more equipment than I need, so... I'm going to sell one of those. And that gives me enough money. This is quite a sizable building. I would like to put it right over here. And uh, I forgot to get the cell point. The pallet cell point. which for now is just going to be over here. I will move that in the future. But for now that's where it's going to be. And let's have our porridge. But let's take the lorry over see if I can... I'm not going to bother fad fastening the tension belts, it seems kind of pointless. Let's see if we can get these to empty off. That would be a firm no on that one. That was the first login. Very disappointed that I only managed to get four logs in this trailer. As you can see that's that's got this on the go already. We'll just leave that working away. The lorry will actually still be getting used, but for now I'm gonna I'm gonna park it up over here. I'm gonna detach the trailer and go away in the lorry itself. Hey, I'm heading off in the wrong direction. Which is typical. So we'll leave that pallet works going. While I head up into the farm here. And have a look at which one was it. So I saw the one with the front loader attachment. Of course I did. I'm going to park the lorry up in here, like so. And go and get the pickup truck. 
Which may seem a very, very unusual thing to do. <coughs> but I don't foresee me using the trailer for a little while. Oh, those are just... Oh, that's the wrong way. I'll slow speed down a little bit. Now, although I'm not very good at using this, I would still like to try and move some logs around with it. Even if it is just pushing them around, which is not really what I want to do. Yeah, that did not work for me whatsoever. Not very good at using these things. that log escapes we'll just do that hopefully I can keep hold of both of these logs that there for now. As you can see, this is, I believe, full. Yeah, it would appear that it's full. Or at least it can take that log anyway. And this is 35%. Pick up one of these little logs that should fit in. did not mean to do that. Looks like I can still take another one of those little logs. Looks like there's been an update to how this is handled. Oh, I can't take that one. I don't think I have any kind of mod that will allow me to stack these trees up, which is unfortunate. But what I can do is trim them while they're in this trigger, and I think that works. Yeah, that seemed to have worked. That's as many logs as you can put here, unfortunately. Don't know if it, it goes any higher than that. Clearly not. Our fill is still 39%. The good thing about this is, it sells it incrementally. And they are worth an absolute fortune. There's five grand out of that. So it takes them ages to make them, but it does work, and it also puts out sawdust, which is quite good. So we've got 475 litres of sawdust apparently, but I want significantly more than that. I want like 100 times that amount before I even think about doing anything with it. But with that money... I would like to purchase. I'm not sure what category it's in. There it is. One of these. It's only nine grand. Nice little uh, 
forklift for moving the pallets around and also in forester equipment so our, this there is the Raybod Xyler 1613 and it will go on to the wheel loader £38,000 but it's worth every penny tempted to get this as well I can make much, much, much use of that. But I won't. I won't uh, no, I won't get that just now. Oh, what I am very tempted to get is something that's going to make my life so much easier for moving that forklift around. I will deal with it in the next episode. So thank you all very kindly for watching and as per usual if you like this video then hit that like button and if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment if there's anything you want to know about this mod or this map because I am very much thoroughly in love with it. So thank you all very kindly for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye for now.